Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request for Series 65 and Series 66 exam about, uh, you know, where do you register? You know, I have a video I'll link to called Who's Your Daddy? So the investment advisory firm is either going to be SEC or state or states, never both. So, you know, it's important when you're reading a question to figure out what kind of investment advisor is it? Is it federal or state? And what follows from that is who's the investment advisor rep work for? A state covered investment advisor or a federally covered? Because the answers are different based on that, right? So the request here is for QID 1518975. Uh, the best free supplement to your paid study materials is the YouTube channel. Uh, but if you're looking for a paid supplement, you don't already have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it. You can get a 10% uh, discount at checkout with Guru 10. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at uh, Kaplan content. All right, so here we go. Delta Advisors is registered in Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. So we know from that alone now that we're looking at Delta as a state-covered advisor. Because remember, it's never both. So once the question says they're registered in a state, that means they're not federally covered because it's never both. So Delta Advisors, very important, is a state investment advisor. All right, so Billy Joe works for Delta Advisors, rendering investment advice to individual clients. He works out of the Delta, or excuse me, at Delta Jackson's Mississippi office. So he's going to have to register in Mississippi regardless of how many you know customers he has. He has three clients in Mississippi. Doesn't matter. He has an office in Mississippi. Uh, six clients in Alabama. So he doesn't meet the de minimis in Alabama, so he's going to have to register in Alabama. And Louisiana, he does meet the de minimis. And so he doesn't have to register in Louisiana. So uh, here he has four in Louisiana. So we say Billy is going to have to register in Mississippi because he has an office in Alabama because he can't av avail himself of the de, de minimis. All right, looks like we got another person in the question we got to look at. Uh, Billy's friend, Bobby Ray, works for Biloxi Investments, a federally covered investment advisor. That's important because a federally covered investment advisor registered with the SEC, period, full stop, no state. And then the investment advisor rep, Bobby Ray, of a federally covered investment advisor only has to register if he has a place of business. So the only thing that's going to be meaningful about Bobby Ray, a little different. Then who was the other guy? Billy Bob or Billy Joe? <laughs> so, anyways, the only thing significant moving on for our friend Bobby Ray, because he works for a federally covered advisor, not state, is does he have a place of business? So it says Biloxi Investments, federally covered, has offices in several cities in Mississippi. Who cares? Has nothing to do with answering the question. Bobby Ray works out of the Tupelo, Mississippi office. Boom. Period. Full stop. He's going to have to register at Mississippi. And any other state in which he has a place of business. He can have as many states as uh, clients as he wants. He can have thousands of customers in other states. And he doesn't have to register when he has a place of business. So the only thing now we're looking for is does he have a place of business in some other state that would trigger him getting registered in that state? He has 45 retail clients in Tennessee. Who cares? You know, that would matter if uh, Bobby Ray, like his friend Billy Joe, worked for a state cover. But since he works federally covered, it does not matter. It doesn't matter he has four clients in Georgia. It doesn't matter about number of customers. All that matters is does he have a place of business in another state? He has six clients in Alabama. Who cares? So what they're hoping, I think, uh, you know, Kaplan and trying to, you know, tease you here a little bit is have you go down some rabbit hole about de minimis and things that apply to state covered that don't. The big takeaway from the question is a investment advisor representative of a federally covered advisor only registers in states in which they have a place of business. And so now we've answered the question. Bobby Ray is going to have to register in Mississippi. So the answer to the question is Billy Joel must register, Billy Joel must register in Mississippi and Alabama. That's what's true. And Bobby Ray must register in Mississippi. So that's uh, the true statements that we would need to come up with on our exam. Well, remember, inch by inch, your Series 65 or 66 is a sense, yard by yard. Uh, it is hard, and I will see you for the next explication request.